Bauna's Kitchen. Today, let me show you how quick and easy it is to prepare burrito platter for your next party. Especially during holidays, it looks nice and colorful and very appetizing. So let's get started. To prepare Mexican rice, here I have short grain rice. Long grain rice can be used as well. Wash rice really well into the cooker pot or regular open pot. Take about a tablespoon of oil. Add rice. Roast rice lightly. Add water or vegetable stock. Next, add salt to taste. Pepper as for your taste. Ground cumin. Cayenne or paprika powder. Garlic powder. Give this all a really good stir. If you do not have vegetable stock, little bit of uh, tomato puree can be added as well. And even if you add vegetable stock, tomato paste still can be added. Cover half open and cook on a medium. Rice is ready for our burritos. Fluff up the rice. I am simply loving the color of the rice. Next, into my electric pressure cooker in our pot, I'm going to take a liter of water and here I have already washed a cup of black beans and a cup of cow peas. I'm not using cow peas for this recipe but I will be using for my soup later. For every cup of beans, take three cups of water, add salt, place the pots inside the inner pot. Basically, I'm using pot in pot method to save time in the kitchen. Lock the cooker and set it up for 25 to 30 minutes. When done, allow the pressure to release naturally and carefully open the cooker the beans are ready to use in recipes. Season the black beans with taco seasoning. Keep watching this video till the end for making taco seasoning and sauce at home. Mix it and keep aside. Take one 9 inch tortilla at a time. Spread about quarter cup of black beans, quarter cup of rice. 1 8 cup of cheese and if desired add some tomatoes, peppers and spring onion. Drizzle taco sauce. Fold the tortilla into a burrito. Cut from the middle. Arrange onto the platter and serve with salsa or your choice of dip. And I am so ready to bite into it. Mm. For this recipe, Store-bought ready enchilada or taco sauce can be used but I would like to make my own enchilada or taco sauce. To prepare multi-purpose taco enchilada sauce, take oil into the pan on a medium to high heat. When the oil is hot, add cumin seeds, onion, garlic, Salt. Here I have chilies. Remove the stem and break the chilies. 
fresh jalapeno, red jalapeno or any kind of red chili can be used. Add tomato. Add water. And cook everything to soft, mushy. When everything is nice and soft, turn on the stove and using hand blender, blend everything together. Next, pass the mixture through the sieve. All the seeds and the skin of the tomato, everything will be left in here. Discard the seeds and the skin of the tomato. And you will get nice and thick sauce. This homemade sauce can be refrigerated for up to 3-4 to four days or freeze for up to 3 months. To prepare multi-purpose Mexican seasoning, into the mixer jar take onion and garlic powder. Here I have three different varieties of chili powder. Only one kind can be used. I'm using hot chili cayenne and paprika powder. Next I have ground coriander and cumin powder. Then salt and pepper. Dried oregano. And last but not least, unsweetened cocoa powder and cornstarch. Cover the jar and pulse all the ingredients few times until all the ingredients are well incorporated. And our homemade Mexican seasoning is ready to use in recipes. Let me show you how the color looks like. Now to preserve this seasoning really well, use airtight container or a jar and use within 3 months for the best flavor. A good simple salsa is easy to make but full of flavor. To me personally, party would be incomplete without zesty salsa. So today I'm making red and green salsa. Next, it's time to prepare the red salsa and here I have the ingredients ready to prepare red classic salsa. Into the food processor cup, take diced tomatoes. I prefer to use diced tomato because it helps to preserve the salsa longer. Onion, colorful peppers, cilantro, jalapeno or serrano pepper, salt, ground cumin, garlic, juice of lemon or lime, and simply ready to blend. Let me show you the colorful salsa. Look at it. I cannot resist myself. This homemade red and green salsa can be preserved up to a week into refrigerator. To prepare the green salsa, I prefer to take mostly green ingredients. And here I have the ingredients ready to prepare the green salsa. Take tomatillos, remove the husk from the tomatillos, wash really well. And into the food processor cup, take tomatillos, cilantro, coriander leaves, jalapeno or serrano peppers, onion, garlic, ground cumin and salt to taste, juice of a lemon or lime, and ready to blend. Let me show you the color of the salsa, zesty, tasty salsa. Here I got some corn chips to go with all the dips. 
perfect to serve with tortilla chips or any kind of corn chips. It's a festive season and we need lots of colorful yet little healthy food to put on table. So stay tuned for our upcoming colorful recipes. enjoyed watching this video please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week you can also download bonus kitchen app totally free on your ios android and many other mobile devices you can watch me on a big tv screen using roku amazon fire or youtube app itself you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram pinners bonus kitchen is everywhere you can also visit my website bonuskitchen.com for new recipe tips tricks and ideas in the kitchen thanks for watching and see you soon